Hello? Is that, is that actually not working, or what? No, it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I see him. I'm live on the internet. Hello, chat. Um, how's, it, how's it going? Uh, where are you all? Let me... I'm saying hello, chat, and I don't have chat open. Uh, there we go. Uh, who's here? We've got Knee Deep, Lord Brotovich, I'm Just Me, Steven Scott, Sprout Stuff, Mr. Mister Black, Jack Without the Sea. They're all here, all your favourites. And, and the other ones too. Jokes. Uh, hello everyone. I, uh, I've got, a, I've got an, an enormous, an enormous gingerbread biscuit here uh, which I'm just going to eat on stream I just realised I was about to go live, I was all set for the stream and then I suddenly thought hang on, I've not I've not eaten any lunch today I've not, I'm not, I've just been working real hard, I've been like doing stupid I've been f f fannying, as we say on this on this stream a lot, I've been fannying around I'm making some new <laughs> assets for, a, for my new for my new format that comes out on Friday um so, I, I've, I've chowed down on some very unhealthy, on a, a very unhealthy packet of crisps, and now I'm balancing it out with an exceptionally healthy, enormous biscuit, because, you know, that's really good for you. Jack Bradshaw, thank you for subscribing. Hey, Pete, it's time for another fun stream. Also, I yeah. collected... Hello, Peter. How are you? Really loving these ratty streams. Time for some more spooks. Hope you're doing well. Thank you, Stephen. I'm going to try my best not to be disgusting while I eat this. Be a whip. In fact, if anyone wants to interrupt me, this would be a really good time. Because it means I can chew sort of quietly under the sound of Robot Lady. So, you know, go for it. Oh. No, I didn't change the title. It's the first time I've done that in a while. Wow. Okay. Thanks, Lord Brotovich. I'll do that right now. Um, okay. Thanks, Lord Brotovich. Oops. That's me just opening the stream. Uh, oh man, that's a shame. That's an old, that's an old rookie error, that one. It's, yeah. It's been a while. Hi peeps, hope you're well. You, Ben, and Mikey were in my dream last night. Oh god. <laughs> we were playing charades and we had to act out old memes. It was weird, smiling face with smiling eyes. Uh, there we go, I've changed it. Thank you, Lobrotovich, for the, for the heads up. That's why we pay you. That's why we pay you the big bucks to be the mod. Don't we? Don't we? Yes, we do. Classic TP stream. I know, because I arrived on time today, didn't I? I arrived on time, and then I just flipped it. It's a vidious error, says Speedway Nut. Uh, I miss... I didn't answer... Uh, Jack Bradshaw, thank you for your subscription. I collected all the Billy emeralds, and now I'm Super Billy. Oh, are you, uh, is this your six month? Oh, there you go. You're a, you've got a gold billy now. Why is the gold billy all... That's weird. Gold billy looks a bit strange. It's kind of being cropped off. It's like big and weird. That's very odd. I don't know. I am just me subscribed and said, Twitch told me to share this. Wow. You can share that with the world. That you have been subscribed for 10 months on a 10 month streak only a couple of months and then you get your big poke yeah. belly so interrupt tp you say do it quick sounds like a plan ah. also i was catching up on podiats last night and it was really funny well that wasn't enough of an interruption Stephen. i took a massive bite thinking i'd have time and it worked knee deep the 113 says tp asmr yay that's not that at all most people hate hate you sounds um Okay. Hmm. Carry, carry the worst gave a hundred blips. Thank you, Carry. Hi, peeps. Hope you're well. You Ben and Mikey were in my dream last night. We were playing charades and we had to act out old memes. It was weird. Sounds pretty weird. That's all right then. Um. And then uh, Stephen's goats gave a hundred blips. Thank you, Stephen, for interrupting me there. He gave me a chance to have a small bite. Um. Lord Brodrick says the bite was just normal size, your mouth is just tiny. Yeah, you may be you might be right there. Uh
Bonbon bonbons. 98 says, you said my at, but it wasn't my question. Uh, oh, you said the wrong name for a question giver on Podius. Oh, really? Weird. I oh, blame Ben. He was question master for that one. Um, hmm. I did, um, I did put the music back on. No, I didn't. Why wasn't that on? Well, I know why it wasn't on. It's because it was, um, we were listening to Star Wars at the end of the last one. Remember that? Bit of music. That'll hide. I'm nearly finished. Yeah. It's the TP, would oh, you boys go. ever consider doing a video about editing? I'm trying to get into it, but I don't like watching other people's videos. <laughs> Knee deep. Thanks for the blips. Um, you know, I thought about this the other day. Be a whip. Um, Tori says, the sight of you chewing is making me want to eat. I'm sorry, Tori. Um, Harry Chris Robin and a hexagon just subscribe. Thank you guys. Look at that hype train. It's it's leaving the station. Woo woo. Go and do it. Hype hype it up. Um, Harry Chris Robin. I might have said Robinson last time, but I don't know. Uh, it says six months. Couldn't be happier. Yeah. Well, congratulations on a gold billy. Um, that was a little year from Steena Rico four twenty who gave three hundred blips and didn't leave a message. They're just that cool. They don't look at explosions when they're walking away, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, they, don't, they don't leave messages when they donate three whole hundred blips. Stetson, what are you doing, son? Stetson Elam um, gave one, two, three, four, five tier one subs to the community. They've gifted a total of 12 in the channel. Wow, it's because the hype train's going off, guys. Uh, I've not forgotten about your your comment, Knee Deep. I will answer it in just a moment. But congratulations and welcome to Steenerico 420, the Game Scout 97, Corcoran uh, W687, Jay Bean 165, and Skeggy's Dar. You're all members of the Walrus Clan now. One of us. One of us. Hmm. I'm just me. Give 200 blips. This is very good. It's really chewy. Watch it. Watch how it, how it, me. Oh, look at that. Oh, so good. They're made in like a local, actually no, they're not a local thing. They're from the supermarket, I think. Hmm. I'm nearly finished, yeah. I promise. Hype train, choo-choo. Choo-choo. Hmm. Did I duck? I will eat my last bite when that message comes up, and then I will catch up on everything that I've missed. I know I've missed some things. Here we go. Oh no, that wasn't it. But, thank you all the same, add your cat for subscribing. Um, that was a gift. I'll read all of this in a moment. I'm just waiting for this dead eye duck message to come through, so I can eat this tiny yeah. little... Quick TP have a chew while Robot Lady says lol 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 bird seeds. We did it! Everyone! I've been sustained for the next yeah. couple of hours. Hype train for TP. Let's slap some Richards this stream. TP, you do a fantastic editing job. Helps me practice with my own editing work. Robot Lady was loud, Lord Rotovich. Yeah. How odd. Hype train, choo choo, Peter snacking, choo choo. There we go. I brought it down a bit. Brought it down a level. Okay, so. I got tea as well to, to wash it down. It's a big tea. If it looks a funny colour, it's because it's peppermint tea. It's not like gone off, but uh Oh, still a bit hot. Why don't we just do a stream where I just, just eat and drink for two hours? I could do with it. Right, okay, good. So, where are we at? Um Knee Deep asked if we would ever do a video about editing. I was thinking the other day. Um I think it was when I was editing last week's Worst Games Ever that like, oh, maybe people would like to just see me watch, uh, watch me edit an episode at, at one time, yeah. uh, just if see how it works. If you have any more of those biscuits, send them my way, winking face with tongue lol. It was the last one of the packet, but there's a second packet, carry. But, um, you know, no, sorry, they're just that good. They're just so good. 
It's always a bit of a lottery there. Sometimes they're really bendy and chewy like that. That's when they're they're really good, but sometimes they're a bit more brittle. They're still very nice when they're like that, but not as good. Uh, you have to like leave them, maybe leave them in the sun for a bit. Leave them in a non-airtight container. Just let them effectively go stale, but in a good way. Uh, so, needy, maybe you know, maybe we would one day do a video where you know I just thought about there could be I could potentially one day do just a chill stream. We play some lo-fi beats to study to, and I sit and I edit. I just I do the interesting bits of a worst games ever edit, you know, where I'm doing like things flying around and stuff like that. You know, I wouldn't I wouldn't do the the cutting process necessarily. Maybe a little bit of that just to show you how it is, but not the whole thing. But uh, you know, just enough so you guys yeah. can get lo-fi beat to study to. Yeah, absolutely. Um, get an idea of how it goes because some people might be interested in that and some people might not be but um, I was thinking about it last time I edited and I was like yeah maybe maybe one day we'll do that so it's definitely not a no yeah. knee deep have you guys considered doing funny stuff with the channel points I have seen some streamers do some very creative rewards oh really what kind of stuff can you set up I just assumed it's only I've never really looked into what you can and can't do with it I thought it was mostly for you know, highlighting comments and things like that. But uh, right, so let me let me catch up on everything. So Steenie Ruka gave those bips. Uh, then we got Stetson, very generously gave a load of subscriptions. They've given twelve so far in on the channel. Wow! And then Gy Goliath was like, "No, you're not the only gifter in this in this universe, in this shared universe." And Gy Goliath gave one to Agic Hat. Wonderful. Thank you all. Thank you both. Um, I am just me, said Hype Train Choo Choo with 200 blips. Hype Train Choo Choo, we just reached level 2 everyone as well, so that was a well read, well timed comment. Uh, everyone saluted Stetson in the chat. Dead Eye Duck gave 100 blips and made Robot Lady say some stuff so I could eat my last bite. Steven Scode says 100 blips, Hype Train for TP, let's slap some Richards this stream. TP, you do a fantastic editing job, it helps me practice my own editing work. Well, thank you very much, Steven. It's always, I really enjoy doing worst games ever. It's always a, a bit of a a marathon, you know, there's a, there's a lot to do every time, um, and quite often I'm editing right up to the wire, but uh, it's always fun as well. I do really enjoy it. Adi Pramana says, Hype Train, Choo Choo, Peter Snacking, Choo Choo. Um, and then, Carrie, as for the biscuits, thank you, Adi and Carrie, for your bits, and Stephen. Uh, Steena Rico gave 200 and said, Low Five Pizza to study to. Two of the bips from I'm Just Me. Have you guys considered doing funny stuff with the channel points? Seen some streamers do some very creative rewards. I asked what you can do with them. Maybe you'll tell me. And yeah. we're pretty much... I would love to watch an editing stream. I haven't done editing in so long, so a refresher. Would be great, and who better to do it than Triple Jump? Oh, well, you know, it's good to know that some people are interested in that. Um, I quite... Uh, I'd, be, I'd be concerned that... I'd be editing, doing things in like Adobe Premiere, and people in the chat would be saying, uh, you know, oh my god, Peter, I can't believe you do it that way. That's not, that's not conventional. That's not what they do in, in the industry. That's not an industry standard. I mean, for one thing, one thing that I know immediately that I do that a lot of people don't, is I still use legacy titles in Adobe, um, which will, will mean nothing to most people who don't edit regularly in Adobe Premiere, but, um, the editing software that we use used to have a whole interface for putting text into it. And uh, then they changed it about, it's probably about a year ago now, but they left in the old version. It's called Legacy, uh, Legacy version. So I still use that because I'm just, I just, I use it. And, uh, and uh, that's it. Jabso19 says, you've always been a maverick, Ben. Uh, I don't know why you're saying Ben. Is Ben in the chat? Or are you talking to me? Or what? Why is... Why is that? Uh, but me me and Ben have always been Mavericks. Um, but yeah, I use, I use old, uh, you know, obsolete bits of the editing software. And I don't nest things properly. Oh, it's surreal. People would... Uh, <laughs> they'd hate it. But... You, you, what are you going to do? Are you going to yeah. stop me? Yeah. I think you can pretty much do whatever you want with the channel points. I have seen everything from playing a song on stream to taking a sip of water or ending the stream prematurely. No idea why anyone would ever want to pick that last one. Oh, I see. You just get people to give 
their channel points and you say if you give a certain amount there's like reward thing okay yeah so you can just kind of do whatever you want to do sure and Bollum says Peter still edits the videos by hand using scissors and some tape yeah pretty much you know I could do um but thank you, I'm, I'm sort of, I digress, but Stetson, thank you very much for 500 blips there. Uh, and I am just me for 200. I'm going to do a tweet saying I'm live, and then we can play a bit of Resident Evil 3. Should we do that? That's what we came here to do. And when that game came out, everyone was saying, oh, flip an X, it, it goes by real quick, you'll finish in six hours. Well, I've been playing it for at least six hours, and um, God, you know, it's not, it's not going well. This just in. Yeah. I love using Adobe Premiere. Still learning a lot of its features. Sometimes I see what you do on edits and try to figure how it's done. You do a lot of really cool stuff. Well, that's I mean, Stephen, you probably, you know, you've actually been trained by 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 people who teach editing. So, you would probably be horrified at some of the things I would do and I would suggest if I ever do do an editing stream don't necessarily copy the way that I do things uh, the same goes for everyone uh, this just in I've just gone onto Twitter to do my tweet the Pirates of the Caribbean reboot is moving forward with Disney reportedly eyeing Karen Gillan to lead guys there's gonna be some new jackanisms coming at you soon from Karen Gillan beautiful red-haired lady and more she's not just a beautiful red-haired lady but she is also that um, so, uh, where is, I am live on Twitter, on, not on Twitter, on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv forward slash team triple jump. There we go. And I'll retweet it from the triple jump account. And then we're, uh, we're all good. Peter is live. Retweeted. There we go. Good. Fantastic. Jackanisms, they're coming at you. Um, if anyone can think of a good pun about Karen Gillan and Jackanisms, I'll, I'll give you, um, you know, virtual pat on the back. Amy Pond heading to the sea. That's pretty good. Uh, Ali Pramana, I like that. Um, good. Well, okay. Um, it might be time. It might be time to start playing the game. Uh, where is my... S there we go. Yeah. Yeah. Can't stay, so have some blips. Oh, well, thank you to Tanker the Batman for coming in, dropping off 200 blips, and leaving soon. Um, very good of you. I hope you, uh, you see, um... I hope you, you, you can check out the VOD later on the VOD's channel. This will be up in, in a couple of days. I am repping the brand today. This is, um, it's slightly purple, I find, this top. You can't really tell there because the contrast on my webcam is very high, so it's just really dark. But this is like, it's blue, but with it's just inching towards the, the red, the red hue as well. Uh, Hugo. Watch out, Agent Hugo. Um... There's Lobrotovich with the VODs. The VODs info in the chat. You guys can go and watch the VODs if you want. They, uh, they're they usually on there within a couple of days. Um, yeah. yeah. And where can we find said VODTP? Well, there you go, uh, Tanker the Batman. Thanks for the 100 blips. Lobrotovich has got you covered. All solo Twitch VODs, the ones where Ben or Peter, Peter stream alone, will be uploaded to the Triple Jump VODs channel triplej.merp forward slash vods also i think youtube.com forward slash triple jump vods i've got a custom url now uh james does them all now good old james we all love james don't we big big mad respect and love for james in the chat um he has taken charge of doing that for us which is just a load off our minds hmm and also means I'd have to use up my monthly quota of data that I'm on out here in the sticks by uploading big VODs. Big love for James. Right, the game is booting. It's rooting, tooting, and you bet it's booting. Um, PC gameplay. Oh, hello. That's fun. 
Uh, oh. It's okay, I'll fix it. Just make sure there's nothing incriminating. Look, guys. ASIO for all V2 introduction assets. Look at the, look at those secrets down there. There's some real... Oh, and look, you can see that I'm wired in. I'm wired into my network. Oh, and I've got emulators pinned. Oh, all the secrets there. Big secrets. Yeah, this is... Um, it's been changed from when I was trying to like emulate games. Here we go. This should work. There it is. Fantastic. We're in. We're in. We're in. Uh, asset sounds funny, says Boring Loner. You're right, it does have ass in it. Mm. Cafe broken. Sorry, everyone. Surprise, I stream from a desktop. <laughs> oh, it doesn't yeah. just happen by Secrets magic. Secrets and discoveries on Peter's computer. <laughs> Welcome to Boundary Break. Absolutely. Um... Right, it's time. Thank you, Stephen, for the bits. Time to continue. The game looks a little quiet. I don't know why Robot Lady's gone so loud, but... Oops. Oh, Christ alive. What a, what a lovely sight. I'll fire my gun. You guys let me know what the, the levels are like. Looks a bit quiet. That's like minus 35 or something. Let me bring it up a bit. I don't know why Robot Lady is, is just the loudest thing in the world all of a sudden, but... Yeah, people are saying low. It's quiet. Um... Let me do a test. Test donation for dollar, for pound. This is a test donation for pound. She's way louder than the game. Uh, but, you know, whatever. Well, okay, what I can do is... Open the volume mixer. Bring that up. It's still a bit quiet, isn't it? There we go. How's that? Can you hear me? Can you hear the game? Um, spoilers, you shoot people. That's true. That's good. People are saying volume sounds good. Yep. Thank you very much, everybody. What would I do without you? Well, you wouldn't be able to hear me for a start. Oh, wow, then. The game does actually get quite loud at times, doesn't it? Pop it down a bit. Okay, so we made it, if you recall, to the Raccoon City Police Department. Um, bomb, 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 bomb says the ammo is gone. No, don't worry. I loaded back up. So what have we got in here? There's a green hoib right here. I'll have it. Uh... We've got... Oh, I've cleared it now. Main hall is clear. Careful, Mike. Microphone. Come a little bit closer to the microphone. So. Good, okay. Now here's a weird fucking door. Whoa. We're here for Bard. What's a weird effing door? Why? This door here? What's wrong with it? Oh, because it's got a... It's got that on there. Oh, look, we're not... I don't think we're ever going to get through here. There's no... Oh, yeah, we go, we go through that way. Okay. Now, here's a weird flipping door, everyone. Flip. Flip's sake. Uh, what is that there? I guess I'll read the note. It says, how to open digital cases. 
Each member of the force has been issued an ID card. From now on, this same card will be required to access all storage boxes. Do not lend your card to anyone. Oh, well, that's good, because didn't I just pick one up? Stars. Stars. Oh, assault rifle ammo. Now, here's a weird flipping door. Um, so, here's a weird flipping corridor where, where liquors happen in Resi 2. What the hell was that thing? It was a tongue. Oh. You will not be able to use online function out. Uh oh. Am I about to lose the stream? Can you guys still hear me? Why has that happened? You still with me? Can you see that? Are you with me? Yes, okay, that was scary. Your ethernet cable is not connected or you are not connected to a wire. Well, I am, because I'm streaming, babe. Yeah, I know you see the warning box, that's fine. Is that even a resi thing or is that? What the hell was that? That was weird. And why did it choose to do it then? And why... Yeah, okay. Spooky. My internet, unfortunately, hasn't been very stable this week. Um, you know, my, my stream dropped halfway through. Well, I might be tempting it here and now, but I'd, I'd rather actually just say full disclosure ahead of time that, like, there is an outside chance that we might have a disconnect at some point today. Um, it's pretty it's pretty um, infrequent, but it does happen, sort of. Unfortunately, at the at the perfectly wrong time in the afternoon. Let me just bring you up a bit. Like mid afternoon, it seems to seems to do it. So, oh, and Balm says now TP is frozen for me. Everyone, hello. I don't like it. Refresh fixed it. Okay, God, it's spooky. It's real spooky. But anyway, we'll see. We'll see how we go. But just just keep in mind, I might DC at some point. Um, and I should be able to just reconnect pretty much straight away. So stick around if I vanish. Um, all it is is I, I disconnect from my network. My computer's like, oh, you're not on the network anymore. And it's like, oh, oh, now you're back. And I have to just restart the stream. So it's just stupid. But hmm. Good. Well, let's play the game. So in Resi 2 Remake, the game that came before this, we find this guy down here. And Leon can go and, and look at him and his face is all... Zombie. Is all messed up. Um, but uh, now we know. We actually saw that. Oh no. We saw them both get killed. Oh no. Good. Well. How are we all doing? Um. OD Laza says my F key is primed. Still fine here, and my internet's worse than yours, peeps. Says knee deep. Yeah. Um, good. We're all we're all still good then. We're still here. Some scratches on the walls. Scratches on the walls. I didn't stick around. Good. Did it jump through the window? Maybe there aren't actually liquors in this game. It just showed that for the sake of showing that that's how those boys died. Um. Uh, oh! Here we go. The hobbling in these, these games in this new engine is quite nicely designed in that although you're up against a mindless zombie, they're still effectively just like dodging because of the way that they hobble. So it's like Capcom were able to not just make it really easy to headshot all the zombies, even though they're mindless idiot zombies who can't consciously dodge, but just because of the way they shamble, they're kind of dodging by uh, by proxy, which is good. Oh! I <laughs> hit! What the? 
That looked like a licker because she's in red tartan. God, she's nearly been decapitated, that lady. Uh, I'm a bit concerned about what I do when a licker arrives. It seems inevitable that... What was that? Oh! It was the sound of that door opening. And an overweight policeman coming for me. Uh. Right. Big warm RPD welcome. RPD? Hello, RPD. Good. Man, peppermint tea, guys. It's underrated. Give it a go. If you've not ever tried it, it's nice. It's less um, perfumey and soapy than a lot of herbal teas. You know, some people don't like herbal teas because they taste like flowers and stuff. It doesn't taste like flowers. It tastes like if uh, if a medieval apothecary had invented mouthwash. That's what it tastes like, <laughs> in a nice way. That that doesn't sound appealing at all, does it? Uh, yeah, it's like a herby, a herby. Minty liquid. Flash grenade. I'll have it. Hello. Où est la liqueur? T, you copy? There's something real nasty in here. I don't know what it is. Something nasty. I'll take a look with the cameras. Watch your six. Okay. Sure. The worst flavour tea I had was eggnog tea. It was so gross. My favourite flavour is English breakfast. God. Eggnog tea. You're right, Kate Kins. Uh, mint tea is supposed to be good for, like, your digestive system in general. It can, like, help you digest if you're like not not feeling good and I think it can also like relieve nausea and stuff like that it's good for you what's that banging mint tea is good when you're ill as well yeah I have it when I'm a bit sort of stuffed stuffy well I find you know obviously any tea is quite nice like hot hot liquids is hot liquids is good so that sentence is good too. Uh, hot liquids is good when you're feeling a bit bunged up and need need a nip. <laughs> uh, you know, need to sort of clear out your sinuses a bit. But um, yeah, mint tea particularly, I do quite like when I'm feeling a bit under the weather. Oh! Get off. Oh, there's flipping loads of them in here. Flipping loads of them. Oh, yikes. No, stop it now. Look, we've all had we've all had our fun. <sighs> Hello and welcome to TPT Talk Stream. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how many sugars? Did you put the milk in first? Builder's brew. What's the builder's brew again? I can't remember. Is that where you have it really milky with like? Is that milk and two sugars? Milky with two sugars. I don't like much milk. I have very, very dark tea. I I would almost have it without... I mean, I have had it without milk before, and if someone... You know, like, I don't have um, dairy milk. Can't drink it. And if someone only had dairy milk, I would happily... You know, if they were like, oh, do you want me to make you something else? I'd be like, oh, no, you can make me a tea. I'll just have it without milk. But, um... Yeah, my preference would be just a, a very light... Really just a drop. 
Just a little bloop. hat. See, that guy's lost his hat now. He's in. He's in danger. I wouldn't have been able to kill him if I hadn't got his hat off. Um, just a, just a little tiny TP amount of. Oh, I'm, all, I'm all out. Amount of milk, no sugar, or sweet enough. What about you guys? How'd you have your tea? I kind of fucked up shooting cops. Kind of effed up shooting cops. This is a weird effing door. Why you got? Why you got to be like that? Why are you talking that way? Oh, handgun, handgun ammo, please. I've got a lot of. Rifle ammo, but safety deposit room. Shit. Fuck. Stop flipping swearing all the time. Lord Rotovich and Cecil Prompts will ban you. Welcome, Leon. <laughs> I bet when we walk down there, he's going to say something about Leon. Huh, some first date, hey, Leon. Welcome, Leon. Say it. Address it. Oh. This is this guy was going to show Leon around. Oh God. Your first puzzle is to. Open your desk! Ha <laughs> ha! Remember that? From Resi 2. The first challenge. <laughs> Open your desk! Arrest report, September 20th. My tea is called Monster Energy. It's really sugary and cold and bad for my teeth, says Knee Deep. Oh no. Hulk has no sugar, no milk, just tea? Wow. I mean, like I say, I have that sometimes, but it's not my preference. Um... Not like Chris Hardwick says, tea with milk, strong, no sugar. <laughs> that voice TP did sounds like the Circus of Value clown from Bioshock. It does. Kill your cravings at the Circus of Values. <laughs> Come back when you got some money, buddy. <laughs> Name Rodney Gray. Former electrician. He made some bombs. He's behaving suspiciously. He produced a small explosive in a time detonator, leading to arrest. Search suspects how many have 20 additional homemade bombs. Are they in a locker somewhere? That would be good. In the evidence locker. I could use those. He was extremely agitated and not of sound mind. He spoke feverishly when questioning began. And at one point, questioning had to be halted due to some bout of shrieking from suspect. Once questioning was resumed, suspect made the following statements. I didn't do it for me. I did it for you. Why doesn't anyone understand the corpse's attack from the shadows? Oh god, he knew. A storm's coming, but this umbrella is no good. Gotta blow it up or you'll be more than just wet. Gotta get more bombs. They're coming. Soon. Gotta hurry. Burn them. Burn the corpses. Burn them good. During questioning, the suspect began to shake violently before resuming a shrieking fit. Questioning was ended and a sedative administered. Due to his unstable psychiatric condition, his testimony changed from moment to moment. Delirium made any sort of dialogue impossible. Currently awaiting the doctor's investigation. The bombs are uh, somewhere. They're extremely powerful. The battery's been taken out. Uh, the battery's secured in the safety deposit room. Okay. Thank you, Wes Drucker. Spooky. I feel like there's a diary entry in, uh, I think, Resi, Resi 1 or Resi 0. Resi 1. Yeah, it's Resident Evil 1. Uh, a guy who was keeping a diary after becoming infected with the, with the virus. And, like, his... He just gets more violent and like, and then he just becomes crazy and hungry and saying how itchy he is. Itchy, itchy, tasty. It's not nice. That was a view it right there. That was from Mother of Tiny Beds. Who's been subscribed for 12 whole months now. 
can Groot Alliance um, on your Lord and Jesus Billy. We've got a scope now. Scope. Oh, perf. I love it. I love it good. I love it lots. I love it much. I love it good. There's a safe here. Well, don't give me the answer, anyone. I don't want it. I don't want it. Well, I do. But I want to find it myself. You thought I'd lost my 12-month billy badge as my resub was greyed out. Got it back, thankfully. I'm very pleased for you, mother of tiny birds. So we can't get in the safety deposit room. Um, we've been in there. The stairs are open. That's all locked up. That's all locked up. We're going to just backtrack now, or? Ooh. God, I thought I could hear some sounds that weren't me. This is blocked up, right, down here? Yeah, okay. If the code isn't 69420, I'm not interested in opening the safe. You know, you make a good point, Lord Waterbridge, as usual. Full of good points, aren't you? Captain Captain Goodpoint. Over here. I don't like long corridors. Especially when I know it's liquor territory. One of his returned to the scene of the crime. Oh! Ambient noise, I think. Oh. Shadows. Let me head up here. I don't like long corridors. They're coarse and rough and they get everywhere. Hmm. Area looks clear. Oh, Carlos, please. Cleared it. That's it. Top the upstairs is clear. Got to go back to where. Uh, maybe I missed something back back there. Um. Hmm. Have I seen the Clone Wars finale? I've not. I've. N I'm actually. I've not seen any of the final series. So please, uh, please be kind. Don't spoil anything. Even. I mean, obviously for the benefit of everyone else as well who's not seen it. But um, I've got a few more of the lost, the lost missions to watch. Whatever they were called. You know that like extra season that never got released but I think it got put out on DVD and Blu-ray which I own, I've got that um, got a few more of those to watch and then I need to watch the whole the whole final season I heard in a f couple of streams ago someone someone mentioned Clone Wars and they said that uh, a lot of people have found it disappointing unfortunately, I'm well, sorry to hear that but tell me just, just good or bad um, do you think it was good? did you enjoy the finale? Anything, ex any sort of dramatic, big, important Star Wars reveals in there? Big implications? I'm all about that kind of stuff, usually. Unless, unless it's Ray being a Palpatine. No, I'm okay. I've come to terms with that. Uh, what's going on? We're talking about Star Wars, everyone. It's happened. Welcome to a Peter Austin stream. Yoda eats Chewbacca. Oh no! Spoiler. Bat. Can we please ban N. Barlam for that definitely real spoiler? 
No, don't. Don't do it. Oh, I've not... How did I miss that? What big dumb idiot face. It's a bit, a bit harsh on myself there, actually. Strong language. Caution, this stream contains words like idiot and face. Oh. What's that doing in a police station? Oh. Oh, I can reload my uh, thing now, can't I? Charlie Badger says, I forgot that Ray was a Palpatine until the other day, and my eyes rolled so far back into my head I'm now legally blind. Rip. Rip Charlie Badger's ability to see. There's a safe room in here, isn't there? It used to be. Oh, this doesn't look safe at all. It's become non-safe. This used to be a safe room, didn't it? Dark room. Oh, it is. It is one. It just looks horrible. Okay. Internal memo. Office supply. Oh, this is the safe, is it? Heat resistant three number combination safe. Left nine, right fifteen, left seven. You remember that? Boring Lona says bit of a rise of Skywalker spoiler there, Peter. Well yeah, but I mean that's been out for Well yeah, a time. It was a bit of a spoiler to be fair. But I kinda think, you know. We've talked about it before. I've I've talked about um Rise of Skywalker on my streams a few times. Fair point, you know, practice what you preach. I told everyone not to spoil Clone Wars. I mean, certainly don't spoil a TV series that's only but just been released. Those things, I'd be set. But yeah, to be fair... Um, oh, is that a little, is that a little joke? Does, do cameras actually kill them? It's like itchy and scratchy. Uh, no. Yeah. Um... The film's been out longer than the than the TV series that aired, like that finished this week. But yeah, you're right. I should I should practice what I preach. You know? Sorry, TP. I'll have to ban you now. Says Lobrotovich. You're just looking for an excuse, aren't you? Should we slowly fill up this entire thing? Maybe that would make me feel better. What we got going on in here? Can you, do you not get a third? Is there no such thing as a triple mix in this game? Can someone confirm or deny? Are there no blue herbs in this game? Um, yeah, I'll keep all that, I guess. Three greens, no blue. Oh, there you go. Well, then I may as well do that, then. Nice. I like it, apart from the fact that my knife comes first. Who on earth, who in their right mind would put, get off, put their knife first? No. Small main gun, big secondary gun, knife. Bullets underneath, no actually, bullets underneath the guns should be, shouldn't it? And maybe the grenade. Health down there, key there. That's how you organise a tiny inventory, everyone. I'm going to save it now, so I don't have to do that again. I'm going to save it there. We're going to do it, everyone. We're going to fill it up. Ah! Game's a little bit spookums. Carlos, the star's office is up ahead. Copy that. Have you not seen anything spooky on uh oh, I've already forgotten that code, but at least I've got the piece of paper with me. Have you not seen anything spooky on the cameras, friend? Why is it blocked? For flip's sake. Why is it flipping blocked?
Note to a friend. Dear friend, Hector, if you're reading this, I'm already dead. If you can hear any noises coming from the locker, do not open it, please. <laughs> While you're on patrol, I focused on finding a way to get to the other side. You mean dead? I realised that explosives might be our best bet. I managed to rig up a pretty good bomb. But we don't have any batteries for the detonator. Ah, well I know where there's some batteries for a detonator. I'm pretty sure I sent one to the safety deposit room during intake last week. We need that battery if we're going to knock this wall down. So I headed upstairs to find you, since I know you have the safety deposit room key. As soon as I left the shower room, I was attacked. One of them bit me. I washed the wound as best I could, but I feel worse and worse. I hope you don't need to spell out why you must not open the locker. Please don't worry about me. Just get yourself out of here as fast as you can. Your buddy, Wes. P.S. Don't worry about that $600 I lent you. Think of it as a gift towards your upcoming move. Good luck, buddy. Did he lock himself in the locker? Oh, cap, wasn't it? I mean, that can't be the one that he's in, because it was locked from the outside. Uh... Better not. Okay. Was that from Resi 2? I think it probably was. Do you think possibly... Oh, I see. Oh, that is actually where we're going to blow a hole in the wall. Oh, I remember, because that's, again, it's from Resi. From Resi 2. It all links in. It's very nicely done. Electronic gadget. Oh. Okay. Guess we'll be doing this the explody way. Well, yeah, I need a battery, don't I? I'll, can I just leave it there? Yeah. I don't need to carry that around with me, surely. Right, um, so I'll go down and open the safe, I think, because all being well, we've probably not activated enough things for the game to have spawned a bunch of liquors down here yet, but we'll see. No, we're all good. It was like 7.59 or something. Uh, something like that. What was it? Uh, 9.15.7. Okay. Oh, which way, though? It actually matters, doesn't it, I think? Oh, this seems like a long way. I oh, know, I did it, okay. Oh, hell yeah, guys, it's a hip pouch. That's what we want. And I can carry a detonator around with me for no reason if I want to. That's all clear. Look how turquoise it is. It's just Cyan City. So, the safety deposit room we can't get into, but I guess we go up to the next floor. Which I'd really rather not do. But needs must, eh? Needs must. I should have known you'd be here, Professor McGonagall. Oi. You know, that's very rude, actually. Oh, is he... Is he dead? He's dead. Rory Seagull's currently watching Star Wars Rebels. Says it's pretty good. I've not watched any Rebels. Just because I'm behind on my Clone Wars. And I don't want to... I don't want to watch it until I've finished Clone Wars. But I'm really looking forward to watching Rebels. I think I'm going to get Disney Plus, like... Maybe this week. Key! This is good. Oh, is that... Is one of these people... Oops! Shoot. Didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to shoot. 
Is this Wes, the man who had the key? Or oh, not Wes. Wes's his friend. Wes was the one locked downstairs. It's not right for ammo. Who's in here? Oh. Cap? Ah. What's the upstairs locker code? Uh oh, the game is saving. Oh boy. Yeah, it makes sense really, now that I've got the key. Liquor. Hello. Hello, Liquor. Where's the Liquor? I'm expecting a Liquor somewhere. Where is it? No, that's wrong. Here we go downstairs, which I don't want to do. It's wishful thinking, really, that I had to go this way. Why is my neck hurting so much? Oh, that's probably how how T virus zombieism starts. Just a bit of a sore neck. Where's Mr. X? <laughs> Fortunately, well, I don't know. Actually, I was going to say he's not in this game, but who's to say? You know, uh, Edu's off. See you later, Edu. Oh, I knew it! Can I blow up that thing? No, it's a fire extinguisher. Of course I can't. Probably flashbangs, right? Is that... That's probably a thing. Oh. They're blind, aren't they? I totally forgot about that. They're blind. Fire extinguishers do explode, says Rory. C oh, you mean in real life? Yeah, I know. I know they do. Uh, but I don't think they do in this game. Gross. Knee Deep says, a big fan of horror games. I've been thinking of getting a very detailed liquor tattoo. Bad idea, question mark. Maybe you could get a full body tattoo just to turn you into a liquor. Wouldn't that be good? It wouldn't. Don't do that. The tea's going cold. It's a really big mug. Oh! Why did that scare me so much? I kind of forgot there were zombies in this game. I thought they were all lickers, and then something was walking at me on two legs. I was like, what on earth is that thing? It's like a person. <laughs> Got him. Right, is this stuff all, all locked up? 104. That's the battery, that's what we want. Mine now. 106 and Three is empty. I can't do two twos and threes anyway because the keys are missing. Leon's got to find them. Or Claire. Oh. And nothing in there. It's all empty here. It's got to be stocked up before the guys arrive for Resi 2. God. I'll have nothing to, nothing to play, play with. Oh, okay. Okay, well, I can, I can bin that. Yes. I can. 
I could eat a herb, a green herb, but I don't know. It's 20 minutes until 4.20 time, everyone. I might have one of my triple mixes then, or double mix. Right, I can take that. Sorry for that move. And do I have room for th come this one thing? Yeah, okay. Come to, come to Paps. Good. Room clear. We've cleared nearly everything. I have a feeling there's going to be another liquor. So I'm going to prepare myself. I'm going to go upstairs and blow a hole through the wall. Oh! That was horrible. What was he doing? It's exceptionally dangerous. You're supposed to be setting an example as an officer. I thought he was reaching for his gun then. Jeez. You're an officer of the law. Oh. God, he's real mushed up in his face, isn't he? Oh. If I don't stab him now, I'll forget that he was... That he's not been checked, so I won't leave him. Okay, he's been checked. God, he's jumping off balcony. Hang on, let's not forget. It could still be a liquor. In which case, I should probably walk around with a with a flash grenade in my hand, right? Carlos, I did a dead end with the terminal here. Gotta head your way. Copy that. Lord Broshevich says, if you also want to get a big mug, but with a cool logo on it, check out the store. He's good. He's a good guy, Lord Broshevich. He knows what he's doing. He's right as well. You can get some really... Get the big size... If you buy a mug, if you buy a triple jump mug on our store, get the big one. I love it. I love the big one. I've got two. And I want another one. Oh, yeah, that seems safe. I wonder if they pl oh a hat. No. I wonder if they planned ahead when they designed Rosie Two. Oh, I can't go back that way. Right. Okay, that's good. It's an excuse to eat a double mix. Yeah. I wonder if they uh, thought, oh, let's make some bits where it's like, oh, this is what Carlos did. Carlos. 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 I don't know how much of this is um, accurate to the original Resi 3 or, or Resi 2. Even... Blimey, I got lucky there. Oh, reload it. Quick, quick. I've already seen her. Oof. Wow. Sorry, that's at a time, take a number. Oh, get off me. I can see why the game gave was an SMG. Well it's not an SMG, is it? It's an assault rifle. I guess. This kind of feels like it's not survival horror anymore. It's like... Okay, because I'm all backed up here. I can't get through there now. It's boiling hot. that one. Reload. Yeah, okay. All backed up. Try some mint tea. I'm doing it now. Hmm. Hmm. Cold. Oh, there's something in here. 
is there. Oh, for f Don't. Oh, God. It's a critical hit. First aid spray. Slot rifle ammo. Is that trickling making anyone need a need a piddle? I'm all reloaded. I'm reloaded, Rick Drinks Beer. You lay off the beer, Rick. No, it's okay. You do what you want. Okay, good. Reload. Quick. Reload again. <sighs> Criminy, criminy, croom. Yeah, I need that. Thanks very much. I have got a grenade as well, actually, so. Can I can I hot hotkey the grenade? Uh, shortcut three. In fact, I think I'd rather. Yeah. Okay. Gem three one four is here. Hey, Gem. Stars. Oh boy, this is something's gonna happen here. Doctor Bard. Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of there. Just tell me where you are. I'm trapped in a goddamn hospital, surrounded by every kind of abomination. Look, just send in stars. They're gonna know what to do. No, negative. RPD's overrun too. Then figure it out! Umbrella's gone crazy. They're killing all the researchers. I am the only one who knows how to make the vaccine to stop the zombies. So you can either sit there with your dick in your hand or send... Send somebody who's capable of getting me the hell out of here. I like him already. Yeah, you would. You heard what he said. We can't turn him over to the company. Well, that's not our call to make. That's Mihail's call. And I'm gonna check the computer, see if I can trace the doc's location. Oh, man. Okay. This will take some time. Look around, see if you can find anything useful. Jill, here's a lockpick. It might be useful if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. Golden Corsair is here. Hello. Look around, see if you can find a giant man in a cool hat. So this is this boring loner. If uh, if they threw Mr. X at me in this game, that really would surprise me. You know, I'd I'd, I'd pat him on the back for that. If it was just a brief Mr. X segment, I wouldn't want a whole thing where he becomes a new sub boss that haunts me for the rest of the game, but, you know, just a little encounter. Report on the mansion incident. Uh, Bravo team went to the Arclay Mountains in Resident Evil 1 and uh, went radio silent. 
Oh no, okay. Half the team went as well. Um, the incident culminated in the destruction of the mansion. Casualties were numerous. The only survivors were five members of STARS. The cause of the incident was the illegal bioweapon experiments being carried out in a secret umbrella lab beneath the mansion. The T-virus being used in these experiments escaped the facility and is presumed to be the root cause of all that occurred. However, all evidence was destroyed along with the mansion, so further in investigation has proven to be extremely... Is that Jill in the front row? Jill. Here's a lockpick. Might be useful. If you don't mess with my lockpick. Take it with you. Whoa. This hall is dangerous. There must be a back door yeah, somewhere. Derail. Was anyone hurt? Oh, God. Jill? What? Jill! Jill, what happened? Jill, come in! T, I gotta go. Do what you gotta. I'll take care of Bart. Oh. We're cutting back to Jill now. You were almost a chill sandwich. You're right. <laughs> Barry, thanks for saving my life. What, so, what's the situation here? We've got the Master of Unlocking. We've got a knife. We've got some stuff. Okay. The only one who made it? Stuff up because I'm chatting. Damn it. I guess I'm out of range. Okay. A Jill Subway sandwich. Oh, very good. That would be mine rounds. They're not your rounds, they're mine rounds. That's what. That's how you say it in uh, Lobrotovich's language. Mine rounds. Um, high grade gunpowder, shotgun shells. Mine rounds, explosive rounds. Maybe store those for now. Um, how am I? How am I feeling? I'm fine. I've just been in a terrible train accident, but I am fine. Stop asking me, Mom. I'm fine, Mom. Are you eating enough? Yes, Mom. Fine. Okay, here we go. Um, we've got a UBCS new weaponry notice. This is probably about mine rounds. Good news, limp dicks. <laughs> Ban me. I've got some new weaponry for you that's guaranteed to put the brass back in your sacks. Who the hell wrote this on such an official looking document? Who's using language like that? It's six minutes until the sexiest number, guys. M. Higdon's here. Hello. It's all going on. They're called Mine Rounds. These babies are developed by Umbrella's military R&D. And uh, they'll light your fires even hotter than the lover you left back home. They're tough to find and tricky to handle. But trust me, they're worth it. Alright, let's take a look at the specs. Mine rounds. Standard issue grenade launchers. Don't get cute and try and load them in anything else. Fire them at walls on the ground. They'll stay right where you put them. The sensor in the mine will detect approaching enemies and detonate when they get within range. So basically just top of an enemy's path. And you got yourself a landmine. There's no such thing as unfair when you're taking on these giant freaks. So to get out there, it's quite dirty. Whoever wrote that is the kind of guy who sits on the train on his phone to Brad and... Jim from the office. Shut up. 
We're all on the same train here. I don't care what what you guys are doing after work with the lads for bevs. I'll, t I'll take those. Brad made him sound pretty good, to be fair. Um, good. Well. Um, hmm. I kind of want to take all of this, all this business, but like I probably shouldn't have it all. I've got it all. Hand grenade. I should leave at least one slot free for something that I'm bound to pick up. Terry Wiz just subscribed. Let's fill that slot. In there. And said, "Hello, Peter, and you beautiful Warus clan. I'm in the working world today. Keep me in your thoughts. And now back to the wonderful world of retail. Hugs and kisses to you all." Well, Terry Wiz, thank you for keeping the world turning. You know, I think we've all... It's important to remember that things are still going on out there. It's all still happening. It's all still real. You know, we're all kind of set in our new routines, or a lot of people are. I certainly am. Um, but, you know, there's still a pandemic going on out there. And um, there are still key workers keeping, keeping us going. Uh... You know, both in terms of like healthcare workers, but also people such as yourself who are keeping the world turning. Um, okay. uh, you know, so those retail workers are still still super important, irrespective of whether you're working in a supermarket or not. You know, even if you're just working in a shop, sole supply supply chains and stuff. Look at everyone saluting you there, Terry Wiz. Stay safe out there. Uh, thank you for subscribing. <sighs> Where in God's name am I? What is... <sighs> There's a dead Rosa over there. There's a... Oh. Sure. Okay. Oh my god, there's loads of them! Oh, I'm supposed to use the mine rounds, am I? I'm not wasting it on, on these fellas. Oh. It's a critical hoot. Anyone else? Eh? Huh? Anyone else? Anyone? Well, that doesn't add up. Oh. Oh, jeez, yeah. <laughs> oh, the stumble. This guy did a little flop earlier. I have a feeling he is very much alive and not well, but... No, apparently not. He just did a, a flippity-floppity floop for some reason earlier. Well, that's fine. I'll take a dead zombie over a live zombie any day of the... Can I stab that? Yes. Fantastic. I wonder if these are explosive. I don't really want to waste my ammo on them if they're not. But I mean, that would have been really good if I could have just shot that and blown it up. But video game logic tells me that because it's blue, it's not going to blow up. It has to be red to do that. There's a lot of them around. I don't think they're going to be explosive. That would be a bit silly. Yeah. My lord. Happy 420 BBBB blaze it, my dudes, Moggy Dab. I could do with the rest. Glad we had a TPT talk because I found a gold mine full of tea jokes. What kind of tea did the American colonists want? Liberty. Ha ha ha. What do teapots wear to a tea party? A tea shirt. He he he. What do you drink with the Queen of England? Royal tea. He he he. How does Moses make his tea? He brews it. 
Ha <laughs> ha hey, hey, hey. What drink brings you down to earth? Gravity. Who who who? These are great. Why do communists only drink herbal tea? Because proper tea is theft. Who a who a who a? Yeah. It's yeah. 4:20 time once again, my dudes. And today this 4:20 session is sponsored by the Shave Dollar Club. Why go to the store and get razor blades that will get the job done when you can get them online and shave your dollars away for a product that does the same for more. People say they offer a fine shave, but they could have got the same thing at the store and think this service was a waste of money. If you use the code PETE, you can spend 10 extra on your purchase. Lord Brotovich and uh, Jack Bradshaw, thank you very much for your 420 Blaze Blitz. Um, there we go. I wanted to do that on full screen because I'm always just hidden up in the corner up here, getting covered up by... Uh, hang on, let me put the music back on there, otherwise I'll forget and it'll never be back. Um, there we go. Good. Um... TP, would you consider having Carla in TJ streams? I don't know what this is. I don't know what this, 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 uh, when this passed me by. Um, I need someone to tell me what Carla is. I see people talking about Carla all the time. I think it's a Ben and Ben stream thing, possibly. Something I, I don't know. Uh, Lord Brotovich and Jack Bradshaw, thank you for your bits. Um, and uh, yeah, what's Carla? Someone help. Oh, Carla is Italian robot lady. Oh, I see. Oh. Um, I mean, you know, could do. Could do. Why not? Um, I don't want to... You know, I can, I can make my own friends. I don't need to take other people's. I'll have, like, Icelandic robot lady or... No, we've already had that. I'll have some other... I'll have robot man. Or woman. It's up to them how they... Oh, hang on. There's loads of people following me, aren't there? Got all about that. They've all come for the four twenties. Sven, yeah. Oh God, I must have got an upgrade on this gun just before we switched over to Carlos because. It's great. Oh, the stumblage. Flop. Ha <laughs> ha. Very good. And what about you? Dead? Oh, you're dead because your head's been popped. It's like theme hospital. Doctor required in inflator room. Doctor, attend in psychiatry, please. God, my I got scared by my own shadow there. R I really, actually did. Doctor required in GP's office. We apologise for the amount of litter. Oh. Alive. Oh. Stay here. Flipper's still alive. Escape the creature. Is he coming for me? Is he going to get me? Have I actually cleared cleared out downstairs? I guess I can't go down here again now. Oh, I can. Reload, says Rick Ringspear. Okay. Is it? Yeah, I've cleared it all down here. There were good jokes today, Lord Rotovich. Yeah, they were really good. There were ones where I kind of feel like if if Robot Lady actually had any level of comedy timing, I might be able to get them in the pause. But she just goes, what kind of tea brings you down to earth? Gravity. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. You got it. Well done. Oh, clock time brochure. Uh, 
Yeah, okay. Don't really GAF. I don't want culture. I only want my culture real. Take me to a national trust. Take me to church. Or a castle that is owned by the national trust. English heritage site. Stonehenge. Take me to stately homes. National Trust. Um. Okay. Paul East. Pop Paul Ice. Axel 226. Um. Love the remix. I hate that song and artist. Yeah, it's not a good song at all. I really hate that song. But, uh... But sometimes, you, you know, you can't... You just find yourself singing, don't you? All over the shop is here. And... What's the secret to good comedy? Timing. Yeah, see? She actually said that with a bit of a pause. And therefore it didn't work. He's still on fire. He's been on fire for like a week. Oh God. Who did that? What? what? I'm pretty sure he can. Carlos, respond. Yeah, what's up? We didn't make it. The train derailed. Derailed? Was anyone hurt? No, everybody's dead. Mihail, everybody. Oh, shit. Bitch can't even swim. Nikolai left us to die. Wait, what? What the fuck? As if you didn't think this was. Oh. Chill. Chill, what happened? Chill, come oh in. my god, look at him. Why is he. Oh. Oh yeah, that's gonna slow him down. That chipboard. Jump! God, I, I can see what people mean about this being like. Oh. What is that noise? Why does it sound like someone in a, a long way away is shooting at him? What is that? Come on! Oh, for God's sake. You're having an actual gid, 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 giddle, giddly gigs giggle right now, surely. This looks and feels like, you know, close to his final form, but like, there's no way. Reload. Ooh. Sticking mines to him and he's just running at me. That's great. Explosive rounds. Glad I had this gun. It's taken all this and still not dies. Can I pick that up? Have I run out of mines now? Mine? I have. Alright. TP sings some. Bon 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 has clipped. TP sings about everywhere he is going with his blue Peter badge. Yeah, okay. Why is it so far zoomed in? What's going on? Oh! What is this? What is this? Is that... Oh, that wasn't... That's not a scripted moment. That's just actually what happens if he gets you. I'm on danger. High voltage. When we touch, when we kiss. It is pretty bad when, when you touch and kiss. Why is it zoomed in so far? It's really strange. It's 
Stop it. Okay, there's bits everywhere. What is... Can we... Can we... Oh! I'll have those, yeah. Load it, Jill. Grab it all. He's just... He's, he's, he's just running around. He's like a dog that's been let out in the garden. You're about to take a nasty fall. Around, yeah, it's like almost dead ahead of me. Over, over here. Oh, there we go. Oh, get her off. Oh, I can't, can't take those. Why does he do that? Why, why is he being so weird? What is he doing? <laughs> and where are these rounds? Oh, in here. Oh, I've still got a load of, a load of ammo in this launcher. Is he gone up? No, he's there. There he is. Doing. Oh, we're in danger. It's danger time. Oops, I'm examining a herb. This is not the time, Jill. Jill, here's a lot of it. Oh no. He's doing dog again. He's dogging. Is this part of. Oh, okay. Oh, so you can place mines. You play... Oh, I get it. Well, that's weird. And I've been wasting. I'm wasting my opportunities there. Come on, you oh. Oh. Okay, let me grab these mines. I might have to do this again because I've just realised I was supposed to be shooting him as he runs around. Oh, he's going to eat me. That's me dead now. I feel like I'm getting actual sounds in in my room. Are you guys getting that? That like... I'm going to listen with one ear just for the next... Come on! Just an occasional weird sound effect that sounds like a... Sounds like distant gunfire. Oh, I know what it is. I know what it is. It's my controller. I've got a controller plugged in, and it's vibrating on top of my uh, on top of my computer tower when he's doing vibrate things. What's that? That was weird. Right, so if I use... Motion man, oh my take God, me by been... the hand, lead me to the land. This is not a good time, stand. Lydia. No, it's, it's always Ocean good. Motion man, the voyage to the corner of the globe is a real trip. Oh, God, what a what a moment. Yeah, can we do this whole boss fight with Ocean Man playing? Uh, hello. Hello, Raiders. Thank you, Lydia, very much for the raid there. Um, a bit of Ocean Man, that's what we all want in out, of, out of life, isn't it? Ocean Man. Oh, it's a bit close. Oh no, that's a mine. Okay, don't waste the mines. Mine! Um, explosive rounds, that's what I want. 
Uh, hello, Raiden. It's not. I'd, I'd like to. I'd like to read all your names and say hello. But as you can see, you know, there's, there's things going on right now. It's, uh, it's stressful. But it's okay. In a minute, he'll start running around like a like a happy hound. Oh, not like that though. That's a that's an unhappy hound. He's got all this skin showing. It's not. It's not funny. It's not a dog. It's a Buick right there. Oh. Well, thank you very much, Squid Game, for subscribing. It's Lydia, everyone. We've, we've raided Lydia in the past. Playing Animal Crossing last time, I think. Just briefly. Ugh. Good. Good. People with nice gardens. Stuff. I don't really... I'm, I'm rubbish. I'm rubbish with my Animal Crossing knowledge. I don't, I don't play it because I don't have a switch here. Why is it so zoomed in? Jill, you're a beautiful lady, but I don't want to... I don't want to see it right now. I want to see this thing so that I know what he's doing and when, he, when he's doing it. Um. Jill. Okay, here we go. So now it's time for the happy dog. Is he going to do a full circuit? Yes. I'm gonna kill that man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill this, this, this fella. Oh, okay, I'm out. Okay, now I should probably grab all of the ammo that's around here. I might even just waste a, yeah, waste a bullet opening those crates rather than switching to knife and giving it a stab when I've got all this business going on. I'll have those. Uh, oh, oh, he's doing it again. Oh no, he didn't. Oh, keep going. Oh, God. Wobbly. Hang on. Let me. Let me. Let's. Let's just pause for a minute because there's there's that much going on. We've got all these lovely. Uh, Lydia, Lydia fans in the chat, Raiden. Hello, everyone. How's it going? Um, so what's going on? Uh, Trialing Badger gifted, gifted a, a subscription to Lydia. Lovely. Thank you for the for gifting that. Um, and uh, what else is going on? Wobbly Pants gifted one to Doom Sailor One. Wobbly Pants has gifted thirty six subs in the history of the universe from since. Since time immemorial, that's how many they've gifted, and that's a lot. So thank you for that. That's very nice. Um, so uh, let me just double check. I've got everything. Am I all? Am I all? All caught up? I am. Back to regular schedule. Um, for the raiders who aren't aware of this channel. Uh, this is Triple Jump, Team Triple Jump. It's me and uh, Ben Potter. Uh, you may know us from either Yogg's Cast of Idiots or... Oh, I don't have room for all this stuff. Oh, I was just about to say I better heal. Um, but this might be too late now. You can't heal when your head's off. Yeah, you, you may know us from either... Oh. York's cast of idiots, um, or from um, way back at our time at What Culture, What Culture Gaming. We do all kinds of things on our YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com forward slash team triple jump. It's very hard to try and sell the channel when you've got this going on. But I'll I'll try and work with it. There's a Buick right there because her gifted was gifted a sub from Ross Ebo. Ross Ebo. Um, game is a bit loud now, so turn it down or you need to shout more. Yeah, I guess it probably is quite loud now. Thanks for the heads up. Let me turn it down a touch. Um, is that better? 
I'm sort of half, actually, I might go a little bit quieter than that, too. Make the sale, Pete, says Bon 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 Bon. I'm trying. Oh, I'm trying. Yeah. Explosive rounds, okay. So, uh, Ben and I do, we do, like, list videos, list, listicle things. Um, that's the kind of the bread and butter, but we, we do some real, some real good unique content too. We do worst games ever, that's great. That's a fortnightly show. Play the worst games ever made. Submitted by the fans. Uh, um, we do video game challenges. We do streams on Twitch and YouTube. Oh my god. I'm fine, apparently. My health is fine. This situation is fine. Oh, that's a mine one. I'm not fine with with mines. I don't want to do mines. Probably not fine now. Doing okay though. Doing alright. I will wait until he hits me again. Right, here. right okay. He's he's doing a he's having a run around. Equip that. Stick one of those up there. Should be enough. Yeah? Yes. I'm gonna kill you. Oh, that probably that's probably not a good thing to do. I should have shot this little this little bug first. We're still okay. We're sort of Hmm. Okay. Better, better grab some stuff. Uh... Flame rounds, yes. Oh, he's, he's doing a run. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Oh, jeez, I got the wrong goddamn thing out then. I'm a knife out, like a big dumb knife idiot. Uh. Okay, we got... Oh, he's doing it. All right, he's, he's going again. I don't have any mine rounds now. Mine? Well, all right, I'll... I'll take this opportunity to run around and grab all the things that I want to grab. Knife and people are saying, okay, knife is knife is what I should be doing anyway. Okay, that's fine. Oh yeah, the knife is actually really powerful in this game, isn't it? If you can actually get to use it. Have I already got all the stuff? No, I haven't. There's still more stuff to get. Oh, rounds we want. Uh, okay. I think I'll eat this. Grab those. Ah! Off he goes. Quick. Okay, it's knife time. Ugh, gross. Ooh. Some links there. I'm Mod Lord Rotovich. For any newcomers. I need to stop it in its tracks. Yes, I do. With one of those. It might be he might stop before he gets there. No. Change the flame rounds. Jill, please. Be 
goes. It's too hard to hit while it's moving. It's a bit of a weird a bit of a strange mechanic. A bit of a strange thing to do in a in a boss fight. That the boss would just start running around like that again and again, but whatever. Flame rounds in Jill. I think there's still some yeah, there's some down just behind me. Just sort of over there. More mine stuff. go? Has he gone up? No? Oh, he was doing a run. Quick. Quick, Jill. Run. Run. Oh, no. Have I still got flame rounds? Yes, I have. They're in here already. How's my health? On caution. I've got a lot of health items, so I think I might. I might eat something that I don't necessarily need to eat. Okay. Quick, Jill, change. Change to mind rounds again. Quick! It's too hard to hit while it's moving. Oh, here we go. Right, let's do this. Right down his gob. Suck it! Suck it. Is it dead though? Is it actually Carpet. dead? You still there? Oh, come on, you gotta crap out on me now? God damn it. Confirmed, he's dead. He didn't flinch. Oh god, step over the hand. I best turn the game up a bit again now. No! Oh. P will it pause? Oh, <laughs> brilliant! What a good place to pause. Turn it up a bit. Okay. Oh, the portcullis! Good shot. Oh no, his arms are off. Oh, there he is. Now he's armless. Completely. Oh, he's not armless at all. Oh, we'll give you a little stab on. Him. Yeah, a little stab, stab. Oh god, did he put something in me? Interesting. You've done me a big favor, miss. Oh no. What happened? I don't feel so good. <laughs> Roughly half a day later. Okay. Carlos! Jill, Jill here's a lockpick. Hey, Might be helpful if you're the master of unlocking regain consciousness. God damn it. Tyrell, do you copy? What's going on? Jill's been infected. I I'm taking her to the hospital. Oh, put a little spine in me that infected right, me. I'll meet you there. So Jill's been infected. He's gonna rush me to see that doctor. I don't know, I find it a bit weird how in Resident Evil the character you play as is always immune. When you get bitten by zombies just like wandering around the police department or whatever, you're you're fine, but the moment you uh the moment it's convenient for the game, you can actually be infected. So we're we back in Carlos Carlos's boots now. <laughs> Boring learner says that is not a good way to carry an unconscious person. I think you're right. Hang in there, Jill. Fight it. I'm gonna get you the vaccine. You're gonna be okay. Oh, a little okay. Jill Valen spine. Yeah, that's what you put in it. 
I don't want to wander around a hospital that's full of zombies. That's going to be horrible. Oops. Oh, look at my full inventory there. I don't need all these. Whoa. Ot Marins donated four thirty four pounds thirty seven and it says uh, underneath select an item to store but that's not the alert that is just the game. Um, thank you very much, uh, Ot Marins, for the donation there. Um, for five pounds or more, you get a little text to speech message read. But um, either way, lovely. Thank you very much. Oh, I don't need that anymore. Eight. Aren't there supposed to be hunters in this game? Resi hunters. Not seen any of those yet. Store that as well. Don't need all of those. He says. You're going to be okay, Joe. Oh, can I put a grenade in the hole? No, I can't. That's not going to work. Um, in Resi 4 and 7, it made sense since they were different things. Yeah, you know, like it makes sense why in Resi 4 you don't get like. You don't turn into one when you get bitten by just a mad parasite man. Or woman. Um, and yeah, Resi 7 as well was like a different sort of story. Tyrell, well. where's Bard now? Gotta be the lab in the back. Stay frosty, I'm on my way. Stay frosty, everyone. Stop. I'll go on ahead. I feel like I missed, I left something behind in the police department. But never mind. Oh, there was a safe, wasn't there? Or a locker. There was an upstairs locker that I never opened. Is this area clear? No, it's not. No, it is not. There, there's that. Is it clear now? No, it isn't. There is a. There is a medicine somewhere. Oh, right there. Owen Gidding said, would you recommend this at its current price? I'm really enjoying it, you know? Like, a lot of people said that they're not so happy with it, that it went it went by too quickly, that it's overly, you know, there's loads of scripted moments in it that are a bit... Oh, he's trying to get to the delicious low-sugar, high-phenylalanine drinks in there. Hey, it's, don't go... It's only Pepsi. It's not... There's no Coke. Is Pepsi all right? Um, I can't remember what price this game is at the moment, but generally speaking, would I recommend this game? Yeah, I would, actually. I'm really enjoying it. Um, it might help that I didn't play the original. Um, oh, for flips. So I've, I've not got things to compare it to. I did play the uh, Resi 2 remake. Um... So I'm compa in comparing it to that, you can say that it's not as good as that in, in many ways. But in, I didn't play the original Resi 3. Um, oh, for God's sake. Can you tell? Can you tell that I... Oh, oh well, it's just as well I ran out there because that would have been a wasted bullet anyway. Um, but yeah. Um, I don't got time for this! I would... In a general sense, recommend this game for sure. I just don't know how much it costs. <laughs> that wasn't even a zombie, it's just a really hungry dude. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh! I don't got time for this. This guy's real ugly. Are you you're right there, sir? Doctor. Ooh. Is he dead? Yes.
I'm all out of everything. Oh, no, I'm not. That's a lie. I just told you a lie there, everyone. I just lied to you. Get the help you need. Call your doctor. When you notice a worrying symptom, everyone, get... When you notice symptoms like this, get the help you need. No smoking anywhere, anytime. It's really... It's, you know, sir, you've got to stop smoking. Quality service satisfaction. Doctors like this one and that one and this policeman will provide you all the services you require, including gnawing on your ankles, infecting you with diseases that will destroy your brain. Uh, being smelly and getting bits on you. Booper, we're here to help. Smoking leads to a zombie apocalypse. I think it's entirely possible. Um, oh, I need Jill's lockpicks. Need the master of unlocking to wake the flip up. Jill, where's your lockpick? It would have been helpful if you, the master of unlocking, had been brought with me. God. Hospitals. Hospitals are slightly creepy at the best of times, but during a zombie apocalypse, man, it's not. It's not good. Welcome to the office of Doctor Nathaniel Dart. Thank you. Please state your business Real, but lady. clearly into the intercom. Uh, where's the intercom? I'm here to solve the current ongoing zombie apocalypse situation. Tape player. What? What? On, what? Why? I have to put a tape in it for it to work. Okay. I know what a tape player is. I just didn't... <laughs> I didn't know if there was one in one. Uh, one in it. Oh, hello. Doctor, I'm here. Oh. Oh, I've got to play... Dr. Bard, are you in there? I'm here to rescue you. Open the door. No voice match found. Ah, oh, there you voice go. Match? What kind of sci-fi bullshit is this? Yeah, so I got to play a tape of someone else going... Doctor? Let me in. Hey. Hey, let me in. No. Oh. What are you doing? Do you have just wipe that? Anyone? Who's first? You? Put, 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 put. Oh. these guys aren't going for me. Maybe I have to enter the room. You're going to break through? Break through. Um, yeah, I was going to say this guy might get up again. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Good. Freak out! The freak, so chic. Oh no. This one's still awake. Reload. I think I, I, think I got him. I think he's... That knife was all he needed. Oh! Get her off. You little cheek. Cheeky. Very naughty move. We're here, we're qu we're queer, we're quaking in fear. I think, yeah, that's probably Did 
dead. Okay, what was in the box? What's in the box? A green herb. I don't need all this medical equipment. I just, I just, uh, I just, I just want to, I want some guns, some bullets. Do I have to let this guy out? Oh, Bootsy just arrived. I didn't get a notification and now I'm late. Oh, Bootsy, I'm sorry to hear it. I am, I'm, unfortunately, I'm finishing soon. Very sorry to hear that. You may have got a wrong notification that said Ben is currently playing wrestling because I forgot to change the, the thing. But you should have got some notification at least that Triple Jump was live. You certainly should have got that. So I'm really sorry that you, you didn't get one. But I am going to wait for a, a good place to stop. So you never know. Might be at it for ages. <laughs> Take it, I can't get through here. No. There's a crate through there. Or, oh, I know, it's that suitcase. I've been through there before. Patient. Well, I think that's patient one or two, or possibly a nurse. Are you going to be awake? Oh my god, what? It's a. That one's got a split head. He didn't climb over there by himself. Someone dropped him. Who's playing silly buggers? Oh, it's a bit spooky here. I don't like it at all. I do not like it. Face down in his in his paperwork, his transcript has arrived. Oh no, he's awake. Oh, open the door. Okay, come through. Oh, I can't even open it now. He's. Are you going to open it? Where did he go? <laughs> he might be right behind the door. So he's there. Nice. I'll take it. Oh. Even if they are zombies, we should still clap for our healthcare workers. I think they're a lot of them are probably feeling like figurative zombies right now because they're working so hard. So yeah. That's a shame you can't just pop it straight in the gun. Oh, I can combine some hoibs. Part of the corridor, maybe not. Need this to cheer me up. The shower railing fell out of the ceiling, completely snapped whilst I was mid shower. Oh god. The shower railing? I'm not even sure what that is. I guess the, the bit that holds the panels up, right? The door. Or is it a curtain rail? Do you have a shower curtain? Sorry to hear. Or the, the rail that the, the... Oh, there's all kinds of rails involved in a shower when you think about it. <laughs> um, oh, I love that. Yeah, great. Yeah. Any staff in here? Oh, it sounds like a safe room. This is it, guys. Your luck, has, your luck has run out if you wanted me to carry on the stream. This is, unfortunately, a very good place for me to stop. I'm not necessarily ending the stream right now. I might sit and chat for five minutes, but um, do a little Q&A for a couple of minutes if you like. Nurse's Journal, September 27th. 
We had 20 mystery illness patients. They're in isolation. They've got necrosis, fever, muttering delirium, and signs of hyperphagia. That's eating a lot. Um, possible infection? We've tried every antiseptic. Still no blood work back from the research wing. Ask again. Oh, God. Dr. Young was bitten while treating one of the patients. We've disinfected the wound, but his fever won't go down. Nothing works. Meanwhile, the outpatient wing is complete anarchy. The patients are delirious and growing more violent by the minute. We've called in our off-duty staff. It's all hands on deck now. We've got to contain this chaos. Oh, God. Everyone got sick. To me, that's like one of the spookier parts of, like, zombie apocalypse kind of... Um, you know, like in the the beginning of... Um, I think there's like an opening sequence in... Oh, best... I best make it easy for myself. I'm just going to sit overwrite all of them. I don't care what it does to my save count. There we go. Now I can definitely not make a mistake when I load this back in next week. Uh, yeah, like, one of the spookier parts of, like, zombie apocalypse films and books and movies and stuff is, like, the early time, the early period where it's, like, they don't know what it is, you know. Um, all, all they know is, like, people are getting ill and, like, nothing's working and they don't know how to stop it. And it's like, oh, God. The hospitals are overrun. There's body bags just, like, lined up outside. You know, it's like 28 days later and stuff. It's, all, it's real spooky. That kind of stuff really, really gets to me. I don't know why I did all that, because I've got to load it up again at the end of the thing. Uh, but anyway. Save to be extra careful. Yeah, okay. Um, good. Well, that's, that's the game. So I'm going to quit that. Um, and... Screen. Hello. Hello, welcome. Um, so, thank you very much to everyone who uh, dropped by for today's stream. If there's any Squid Game uh, Raiders still in the chat there, hello to you. Thanks for sticking with us. Check out our, you know, our YouTube channel, Team Triple Jump. Check out the, the stuff on the Twitch back end. Um, all of our VODs of previous streams are available at triple ju.mp that's triple jump with a dot in it uh, forward slash vods or youtube.com forward slash triple jump vods um, so you can check out other streams if you have enjoyed this one um, previous episodes of resident evil etc etc forgive the setup as well uh, we're streaming remotely from our homes I'm at my parents place um, but uh, yeah we're, it's all it's all a bit COVID at the moment with our current setup, but there we go. So I hope you've all enjoyed. Um, and um, yeah, it's tiny, it's tiny cam chat time. Uh, streams aren't really the best advert for your content, says Boring Learner. No, they're not really. We do pretty weird stuff over on YouTube, don't we? Um, whereas on stream, we're relatively, you know, we just sit and actually play games for once, which is, you know, for a video games channel, you think we do more of that on YouTube, but instead, or, like, current games, anyway. You know, we play terrible, terrible video games over there instead, on purpose. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, fantastic. Well, hope you've all had a good stream. What are we all doing with the rest of our evening? I've got more editing to do. Haha. -ha. Great. It's okay. It's enjoyable. It's fun stuff. Um, it's for my Friday video. I'm hoping it will actually be done by Friday. I've got a lot to do, and I'm obviously streaming tomorrow in the afternoon with Ben, recording the podcast in the morning. Friday's supposed to be a, a public holiday in the UK, but I think we're going to have to work all day uh, to get this video out, and then I'll just take Friday back another time. But, uh, yeah, it's good. Um, Knee Deep is, is off editing, like me. Good. Um, fantastic. stream is on YouTube tomorrow yes yes it is that's well you know it's a good good thing to say actually I should mention we're streaming tomorrow on Thursday as usual at the usual time however 
We're doing it on YouTube. YouTube.com forward slash Team Triple Jump from 3 p.m. British Standard Time. Um, that is because we, well, when we stream on YouTube, like more of our overall fan base seem to be able to act like they, they kind of come and attend more on YouTube. I think there's some people who still just don't like the idea of a different platform. You know, like Twitch just sounds scary to them, even though it's, you know, it's pretty easy. You just go to the page and watch, don't you? It's not too bad. But yeah, there's a lot of people out there who would just prefer to stick to YouTube. So we want to do maybe just the joint streams on YouTube going forward and continue to do the solo streams on Twitch. Uh, but yes, Team Triple Jump YouTube tomorrow. Um, there we go. Lord Brotovich has even posted a link for you. Fantastic. Steven's off to class. Um, and uh, yeah, okay, good. Well... Oh, well, interesting. Um, good. Well, there we go. Oh, Bootsy says, will you go back right away? I heard the restrictions there might ease. Yeah, I don't think we're going to necessarily be in a hurry to go straight back to the office. Ben and I certainly think that like we could do most of our stuff from a distance while it's still advisable to do so. Even if that means that like we go into the office like one day a week just to kind of film stuff and maybe do do a stream or two um you know it, it's it's totally i don't know this isn't like definite at all you know i've not i mean it's you know adam adam is our boss and uh you know it's, it's something we would discuss with him see what he thinks i imagine that cultaholic well i don't know i've got no idea i don't speak for anyone uh, I don't know if they'll go back as soon as they're allowed or not, but um, we'll we'll just do what's safe, what everyone deems to be safe and sensible. Um, you know, in any case, whatever happens, we'll continue to socially distance. Uh, but it's just whether we do that in an office with space apart from each other, or limited time, just nipping into the office for recording things, or not going back to the office straight away at all, and maybe continuing to do everything from home. For a short time i don't know is the answer what i'm saying is i don't think anyone's going to rush back and we're certainly not going to run i'm going to rush back and start sitting within two meters of each other that's definitely not going to happen um but uh yeah good so uh, adam says he only goes back to the office to do voiceovers yeah i know some people are at the moment nipping in to do voiceover and stuff but that's that's okay because um no one is going there at the same time and you know, I'm sure people are washing their hands as soon as they've used the doors and the equipment and stuff. So that's all. That's what they're doing at the moment. But you know, we're talking about like when lockdown is lifted and and things like that. So, but you know, we we started working from home even before lockdown was put in place. You know, this is we're not doing this because of lockdown. We're doing this because of social distancing and so on. Uh, we had like a, a, a few days working remotely from our home offices before the country actually went into lockdown so lockdown being lifted doesn't necessarily mean we're going to be straight back to the into the office so uh, yeah daniel time uh, says can i get a shout out to my girlfriend who is an er frontliner it would make her day she slogs through her 16 hour work shift her name is rin i hope i'm pronouncing that right r-y-n i think that'll be rin possibly ryan but i think it'll be rin um rin you're doing amazing stuff everyone clap for rin People working in ER and, and, you know, whether they're working in hospitals, intensive care, in ambulances, um, GP surgeries, pharmacies, supermarkets as well, all those key workers, not just healthcare workers. You're all doing excellent work. You're keeping the world turning, keeping us safe. And um, thank you very much, Rin, and to everyone else who is working hard for the benefit of, for, of all the people sitting at home in their bedrooms in the dark. It's got a bit gloomy, hasn't it? Look at me. I'm all sort of... don't look good. But uh, anyway, that's the end. That is it. That's the end of the stream. And um, I will see you tomorrow on the Joint Blaze stream at 3pm BST on YouTube. Remember, it's going to be on YouTube. So, good. Uh, see you all later. Enjoy the rest of your Wehens Day. Bye, everyone. Bye.